You watch real episodes of Jeopardy, and before the contestants answer, you and the other people get mm-hmm. to buzz in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then on your phones, everyone has How about a show called out. Who Wants to Come? And Regis is okay, like, Okay, that's pretty good. Your penis, my mouth, let's go. 30 seconds. <laughs> dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. He's jacking them dun, 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 dun. Regis is just shouting things out. <laughs> and you have to like come to things. <laughs> A woman bending over in the middle of the store. She's oh. trying to pick up a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> jacking one. Nick is doing a ferocious jack-off yeah. motion as Regis. You guys uh, are missing uh, him. It's, it's not working for me. I'm sorry, Regis. Play with my tits. Play you only have tits. 15 seconds to come. <laughs> Suck my nipples, Regis, please. The woman's bending over and you can see how wet her pussy is. <laughs> it's so hot, there's a Yankee candle display next to it and it's melting. <laughs> The heat coming off a pussy is melting uh, the candle, and now she's slipped on uh, it. Phone a friend, uh, phone a friend. The titties have come out, and now there's there's wax drying on her titties. It looks like cum. She's got a big pair. Uh, your time is out. You slip also, your cock goes in her mouth. <laughs> it's in there. Come on, bust. Come on, everybody wants you to do it, Derek. They're watching you back in Toledo. They want to see you come. They want to see you come all over Regis's face. Fill me up. Fill up, Philbin. Let's get it done. Let's get you off. Oh, and he can't do it. He's got he stage fight. It. Get the hell out of here, faggot. Who's going to play next? <laughs> Let's go to the audience. <laughs> it would be tough to be in the hot seat. Mm-hmm. You know You know yeah. why they call At it? At home, it looks easy. I sat but... there and I warmed it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so is this just a one-round game? Somebody? It's a one-round game. <laughs> Somebody just comes in <laughs> and you have, <laughs> Regis has 30 seconds. How to much money? Now we're get. playing Who Wants to Come? <laughs> and what do you win? Our next guest. Because <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire? She's a, win a, million she's a fifth grade social studies teacher and a fat pig <laughs> from Shaker Heights. We've got Arlene. Arlene, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just start rubbing you here just to get you warmed up. <laughs> Thanks, Regis. Let's get the clock going. 30 seconds. Your husband's late to work. There's a knock on the door. It's a black policeman. <laughs> he kicks the door down. You're saying, what's this all about? He takes his baton. He puts it against your neck. You're up against the wall. <laughs> He rips the basketball shorts off that you've been wearing his panties all weekend. They smell like an entire retarded gym class. He doesn't care. He's excited by it. He's excited by it. His savage penis is hard. Straight from the jungle right up into you. Oh, my God. And she's come, ladies and gentlemen. She's come. She did it. She's our winner for the day. Congratulations, you fucking big bitch. The prize is just coming. The prize is she comes. (laughs) You don't get any money. You don't get any money. I keep all the money. You just get a <laughs> you just get a hand job from Regis Phil. Yeah, that, that's around. worth the price of admission. That's right. not bad. I would have honestly stay tuned for when Ben Stein's come coming up after. <laughs> oh, honestly, I would have gotten jacked off hard. by Regis. That would have been a funny story. Welcome oh, to the show. I'll put on these noise canceling headphones, and you can <laughs> suck me off. <laughs> I'll just fucking prick a dill. He's going to use a lifeline. He's calling his sister, who's got a retarded son with a giant penis. (laughs) Hey, Tina. It's Mike. (laughs) Hey, what's up? Uh, We don't have much time here, so I'm going to get through it. Um, A retarded person's penis is A, 13 inches long, (laughs) B, 15 inches long, (laughs) C, two and a half feet long, or D, they don't have penises. <clears throat> okay, I'll I'll see you at Uncle Steve's funeral, <laughs> Dave. Come on, I'm Tina. On, I'm on the show. Team. I can. I'm about to win fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you got. I need you to answer this. Uh, please, this guy. That I'm down to my last lifeline. This here. black guy that sounds like Regis is going to give me fifty dollars yeah. if, if I know the answer I mean, to this question. This is my last lifeline. I've used all of them. It's the first question. Yeah. The fifty dollars he can you get him more nerds rope. I don't give a shit. Just help me out here. Pull it out. Oh, you ran out of time. I'm sorry. 
I'm just, yeah, this is really stressful for me because I've seen his penis, <laughs> but I've never measured it. And I'm trying to think, you know, the dog's mouth is probably, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, what, am I allowed to, can I use my phone and look up the, the size the length of, a, of a dog's mouth? A skippy jar. <laughs> how much, how much the depth of a skippy jar? No, you can't. Can someone from the audience yell it out like Price is Right? <laughs> Nobody do that. Nobody do it. I th in fact, I think that was already one of the lifelines. <laughs> I think that's that's kind of how the yeah. show is structured. Yeah, there, was, the there was an ask the audience. Uh, and we had to sort the kinks out of that because some guy would always vote the N-word. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> he figured out how to hack it. Could never find <laughs> He rewrote and the code. And 1% said the N-word. <laughs> And then you cut to the audience and they're like, wait, it's anonymous. It's just, it's just, so we don't know who's doing this. One guy that just looks like Dick Dastardly is twirling a mustache. <laughs> He's got a monocle. It wasn't me. I said Pluto. <laughs> Dude, when the audience got it wrong, that was so fucked up. I was one of the people that said Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not the end. <laughs> okay, why are you looking over your cape? <laughs> why are you holding a cape in front of your mouth? Because <laughs> I have coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs>
my God. And she scummed, ladies and gentlemen. She scummed. She did it. She's our winner for the day. Congratulations, you fucking big bitch. The prize is just coming. The prize is she comes. <laughs> That's it. You don't get any money. You don't no. get any money. I keep all the money. <laughs> you just get it. You just get a hand job from Regis Phil. Yeah, yeah, that's around. worth the price of admission. That's right. not bad. I would have honestly. Stay tuned for when Ben Stein's come coming up after. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Page goes on Regis. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, tell us about the penis situation. <laughs> You're a fella now. That's all fine and dandy. When you go out of town, you're out of, you're out of here. You leave the studio. You're walking down Broadway. Are you wearing a fake penis? Is it a big one? Is it a small one? Is it floppy? Does it come hard? This is what people want to know. Uh, We're talking right. about the pronouns. What's the inches? How are you measuring it? That's right. Is it right. bigger than mine? Is mine big? Is it small? I still don't know. I've never learned. <laughs> Damn, dude. All right, Pete. That's the biggest tragedy. Mm -hmm. We're never going to get the Regis Elliott page interview. <laughs> <laughs> God. Let me ask know. you this. Are you still shaving your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> because I guess it's a matter of hygiene, but if you want to, if you, because you got to be thinking, I don't have a pussy. <laughs> so you'd stop taking care of it. If it was me, it would look like Jumanji down there. <laughs> You'd have Robin Williams poking his head out, <laughs> saying, I've been trapped in a board game for 30 years. <laughs> you ever see that picture, Elliot? <laughs> Beautiful movie. Beautiful. <laughs> Usually I don't go for the artistic stuff, but that one got me. <laughs> that and Titanic. <laughs> Everything else I've seen has got to have a dance number in it. <laughs> Let me ask you, that's a question. If you're dancing with a girl, are you leading now? <laughs> when you go out dancing with dames, <laughs> do they ask, do you have to wear the penis to the dance? <laughs> You'll be at the Grammys next week. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Who did your penis for that? <laughs> Who is Tom Ford doing your penis for the Grammys? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, wow. Oh. doesn't say a single word. No, <laughs> it's a 35-minute interview. Silent. <laughs> God. You ever see those pandas we rented from China? Ten million dollars we paid for those things. And they're what? Just fat Chinese bears? It's fun. I always thought that was funny, Elliot. Because we got bears and so does, so does China. And they're bears. They're very much just the Chinese version of bears. Imagine a Chinese guy was a bear. And that's what you'd it's get. What that's you'd kind get. of like your situation. <laughs> In a round of, No, don't leave. <laughs> Damn, dude, a fucking legend. Big mm -hmm. Regis. Mm -hmm. If only he could have lived to see Elliot transition. So in the meantime, are you getting your pussy sewn shut? <laughs> <laughs> just, just fixated on the genitals. Mm -hmm. I guess it's pretty good that you never really had a big pair of tits to begin with. <laughs> we all saw Juno. I mean, if they had to cut off a huge pair of tits, that would be a real tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we're losing, you know, Dolly Parton over here. <laughs> it's not like we're losing Raquel Welch. <laughs> You're already playing pretty close to the middle of the field, is what I mean. It's good. No, where are you going? Yeah. I said it's I'm good. Back. <laughs> the door is locked. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Are they going to have to make your nipples smaller, though? Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> sometimes I've seen women that completely flat-chested, but they still got big nipples. <laughs> have you considered in the future maybe breastfeeding? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot just, 
Elliot just looking like, as always, about to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Regis just, just like, keeps going. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> uh, America's greatest interviewer. You got your titties cut off. Tell us about that. Talk about it for um, a couple of reasons. I wanted to share with people just how much it has changed my life. And right, but you didn't have big tits to begin <laughs> with. <laughs> Already there's such lack of access or trans people. Let me ask you something. Are you going to start peeing standing up before you get the dick or what? <laughs> healthcare. And the reality of the healthcare is that it's supported by medical institutions and it saves lives. That sounds fucking gay. <laughs> Tell me about the cock. Let me know. Complete and utter. They're You're getting an utter. Their lies in terms of what they're saying about the health care. And the rate. This is such a boring mm-hmm. interview. Believe it's life saving. Um, and it's the case for so many people. And because there is such an attack on trans health care right now, when I'll. There's such lack of access or trans people who don't even want to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. What you are hearing from certain lawmakers are actual, complete and utter, their their lies in terms of what they're saying about. Did you hear Paul Ryan said I had a small dick? (laughs) I never liked that guy. Yeah. (laughs) Is that what you're talking about? (laughs) Chuck Schumer said I sucked a cock at Burning Man two years ago. <laughs> I've never even been. I've First never of all, been. it's pull a quiz. It was Bonnaroo, <laughs> and what I did was I put a giant foam finger in my ass, <laughs> which was funny. <laughs> it was a joke. It killed. Everyone loved it. <laughs> Kelly Kapowski's hot, dude. Okay, I love Kelly. I love I love Regis, Regis and Kelly. <laughs> you know, uh, you know who's uh, Kelly's uh, who's doing the show with Kelly now is Me. fucking Ryan Seacrest. You're watching Scooter and Kelly. <laughs> Scooter and Kelly. <laughs> Regis is like, I can't believe this is who they got now. <laughs> like, I, yeah. where's Regis? The show at? used to be great, and now it's this. They got a fucking retard on there. <laughs> <laughs> Regis starts his own podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> commenting on the show every day. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Well, re- Kelly thinks she can outdo me by having a black guy on there. <laughs> well, guess what, bitch? I got a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Regis and the Retard. <laughs> my, my name is Michael. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. We're talking about Mario Lopez, gay or straight. <laughs> Dude, I would honestly love an uncut Regis pod, dude. Yeah. Regis talking about all the pussy he got in the get 70s. Him, get him a couple of drinks in. Dude. Let him rip. I would love to hang out with Regis. That guy me. seems like a like a complete alcoholic. Even, I, don't, I yeah. have no idea if he is. Anyone or that's on, I said it before, anyone that's on TV. Morning television. Before 11 a.m. is yeah. drunk out of their mind. <laughs> that dude, lady on the, the Today watching, Show, who does? Watching the or, Today Show during the Parkland shooting was great. Mm. I think they still had wine on the table That's as awesome. they're like, as uh, as a school in Florida, and <laughs> we were gonna have a moment of silence. <laughs> yeah. And then like you know they just they show you the studio and then the bartender that's like also a DJ that's in a cage above, <laughs> yeah. just standing there solemnly yeah, in right. his bow tie and uh-huh. fucking yeah uh, hat for Panama the ki- hat. for those kids that died. And then we're coming back, and we've got John Cena, and we're going to feel his arms. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to feel John Cena's arms. <laughs> he's promoting Yeah, he's promoting tag yeah. the movie. You know, it's a real shame what's going on down there, down in Florida, but I can tell you if I was there, it wouldn't happen.